Hi everyone, welcome to Cashwalks. We're on the edge of the Manukau Harbour out near Auckland's International Airport and there is an earth cache and two fossil forests here. Come and have a look at the fossils with us. The fossil forests are on the coast at Ihumatau near an extinct volcano, Monga Takitaki Volcano, before it was quarried away. Google Earth shows the working quarry. We're heading down Renton's Road to the foreshore where there is a car park and small park overlooking the fossil forests. Get our gumboots on, it's mentioned on the cash page. We have come about an hour before low tide. The tide goes out a long way here. There is an interesting information plaque here and a good description on the cache page. One of the tasks to log the earth cache as found is to count the steps down to the foreshore. Oh, here's the fossilised wood. Yeah, it looks like just a fresh tree trunk or a bit of yeah. Driftwood that's washed it up on the beach, doesn't it? It does. Look, you can see it coming out of the, um, the, the, the side there. Yeah. Both forests grew here during slightly colder times of the ice ages. When the sea level was lower, the coast was tens of kilometres further west. The older forest consisted of numerous large kauri trees. This younger forest had Rimu, Mero, Tanakaha and a few kauri. You can see the two forests quite nicely. Down at the bottom here is the peat layer, the uh, swamp layer with the older trees in. So this is the older forest about 100,000, 200,000 years ago. And then up here, you can see this log sticking out of the ash, the tough material that's come out of the volcano um, probably about 90,000 years ago. So the old forest here, the newer forest up here, two forests in one place and a nice boundary line right between them. You can see it really clearly. Now this uh, forest would have um, died off as the water table changed and the trees fell into the, into the swamp um, and preserved in the swamp. That's why they're looking so fresh. It almost looks like modern um, timber. In the wood here you can see little bits of kauri gum. Um, down here there's quite a, a big piece. That's how we know it's a kauri forest. It's got the kauri gum. You can see the pieces of kauri gum here. Yeah, that's how they know it's a kauri forest, apart from the very large logs, very straight logs, tree trunks. Mm. And up here, the uh, trees would have grown in the swamp once it had um, dried out and filled up and become dry land again then the second forest, about 90,000 years ago, was growing here in the same position. Then it was hit by the volcano and uh, bowled over, covered. This is what these trunks are sitting out of here. Yeah, very cool place. Great place to have an earth cache. This is a hardened um, ash from the volcano. It's not that hard, it's quite you know, reasonably soft. It breaks reasonably easily. Don't have to hit it very hard and it's a little gritty. So that's what's come out of the uh, volcano about 700 metres away from here. Here you can see a large uh, piece of wood that's been preserved in the ash in the volcano, the tuff. And out over here you can see some holes where there have been some branches or tree trunks, small tree trunks that have rotted away. Let's head out across the foreshore to find the large carry tree fossils.
we have to measure the length of a trunk and the diameter of three stumps to claim the earth cache. Right here you can see the uh, tree trunk lying down in the mud and the sand here. Yeah, really cool. Big tree. Okay, we've got to measure it, Lynn. Right, eh? It is thought that the forest died due to a change in environmental conditions, such as the rise of the water table. The demise of the trees would have been gradual as one by one they succumbed and fell into the surrounding swamp. Well, here's another big stump. Looks like there are two stumps. It does. So maybe we go from here to there. Okay. What do you think? Uh, but we call uh, it I'm stump. thinking this here, there, there to there, okay. and this is part of that stump. All right. It's easy to spot the tree stumps at ground zero. A photo for the log. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm. I think that's come out um, it's a rock that's been blasted out through the throat of the volcano and landed out here. Whoa. Yeah. Imagine the force. Mm. Geologist Bruce Haywood says it's a piece of hard limestone ripped from the walls of the volcano's throat and blasted out in the explosion. It's great walking along looking for crabs and uh, watching the planes take off and land at the international airport. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Nice and close to them taking off, eh? Yeah. If you're interested in learning more about fossil forests, Geologist Bruce Hayward's book on the volcanoes of Auckland explains it well, and you can get it as an e-book. Geotrips also has a piece about them. Well, that brings us to the end of our cache walk. We hope you enjoyed the uh, fossils. They were interesting and also a nice earth cache. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching. <laughs>